at all my little silky babies. Hey, good daddy. <laughs> oh, you're a good boy, too. And then we got mommies with her little free hens. Hopefully hens. Obviously not hers, but that's okay. Regular baby, huh? Regular babies? Are those babies? Look at your babies. The end of November, almost Christmas time, and about 50 degrees. So even though the boys here, we let everybody out today. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 65, because they're not going to have too many warm days left. He's not real happy that we let the girls out without him, but he's not friendly like ours. So we really don't want to have to chase him if we don't have to. Figure we let the ducks and the geeseys out so that they could stretch their wings up a little bit. The turkey's busy chasing cats around the yard. Run, Junior! She's gonna be a great mom. Come on, Amber! Amber's terrified of the fence. She got shocked the other day while we were inside, so I don't let him go in with me anymore. <laughs> Where are you running? Is a big turkey? Is a big turkey? Look how big Frost has gotten. Yeah. Look how big Frost has gotten. She's a good turkey. She's a good turkey. Everybody kept asking me if we were going to cook her for Thanksgiving. God, no. We're hoping that she uh, becomes broody. And I think she's trying to eat my shoelaces. So that she can hatch a bunch of eggs for us because she'll be a great mom. She already chases our cats around the yard. Out lunch. Where are you going? Glacier, your girl's running away. Blade, you'd be nice to that puppy. Oh, guess what I forgot to tell you today, son? There was a mouse in the mouse aquarium that was not one of our mouses. Baby's first day out. I tried to get it, but as soon as she seen us coming, she took him back in the coop. They're okay, Mama Ash. They can come out. Not coming in. She worries about the dogs. Which is good. Hi, Avalanche. What you doing, pretty girl? You sure have been spending a lot more time away from everybody. How come? See? Come here. I'm scaring her. First time all the way outside with mommy. She finally coaxed him out. Don't know how safe this is going to be, but you know. You might learn a serious lesson today. Sorry guys, I can't hold the phone and chase cows at the same time. But we got the bull in there. We got them all the way from up there. Down here. You little baby cows. Sam helped me out. He's a good boy. He's a cow dog. Well, today's the day. We're going to try to get that bull we put in that pen into 
this trailer to take him to auction. And of course, my little cow right there, Miss Ruby Red, has broke out and is all by herself on the wrong side of the fence. It's out to the field today. Oh, they look pretty. What do you think, YouTube? Cows everywhere, hay's everywhere. Oops. Mama brought her babies out this morning to eat. I pureed up some deer meat for some protein and I make the dogs rice and hamburger instead of giving them canned food. And I mix a little bit of that in there. Mama's protecting that food for her babies. It's kind of cute. And Aspen, he's over here waiting for me to open up the door so he can go breed with the other girls. Go back to your flock, Aspen. Okay. to sneezies. You all right, Frizz? <laughs> We're just going to hide behind the rooster. Frost has gotten. Yeah, look how big Frost has gotten. She's a good turkey. She's a good turkey. Everybody kept asking me if we were gonna cook her for Thanksgiving. God no. We're hoping that she uh, becomes broody, and I think she's trying to eat my shoelaces, so that she can hatch a bunch of eggs for us. Cause she'll be a great mom. She already chases our cats around the yard. How are you doing, little guys? You like your new little home? For winter, anyway? Yeah? yeah. Little mousies flipping around on this thing. Those are our boy mices. And then down here... We have girl mice and a bunch of little babies in that little house right there. And then those are the two silk feeds that I hatched out of my very own flock. And I'm hoping that one's a little splash. And that it's a girl. That would be great. And then of course, <clears throat> those babies, we got two roosters and two hens out of them. And then this was Jem, that chicken that everybody was picking on and kept breaking open her head. They're all in here for winter. Down in our basement, we made two different cages. Keep everybody safe for the winter. And then we'll put up the juvenile pin again. And they'll go out.